Every hundred years or so, God brings a spiritual revival, always marked by the centrality of Jesus, the clarity of the message, and the good in the good news. It's as if we need a reminder of who God is and what he is doing. Sometimes the increase in joy and spiritual signs comes as encouragement for those who have already tasted it, and that's needed. But I'm hearing God remind us to grasp the good news of who Jesus is and to find better ways to make him real to people already overloaded with information and too much going on in their lives. The prophet Habakkuk appealed to God about the spiritual apathy and injustice that he saw all around him, and this is what he heard. Then the Lord replied, Write down the revelation and make it plain on tablets so that a herald may run with it. Habakkuk 2.2 There seems to be a separating out of those whose message has become muddled with ecological and gender issues and establishment concerns and those with a clear message about Jesus being central to what we believe and how he is present with us. It's the Jesus-centred churches which are growing strongly with young people and families. On the other hand, all the more formal traditions are seeing a long-time trend of attendance halving within a generation, church buildings closing and parishes amalgamated. And there's a lot of controversy about that right now. Paul, writing to Christians in Corinth and warning them of the danger of majoring on the minors, spoke of the need for sounding clear notes that everyone can recognise. If the bugle makes a garbled sound, who will recognise the signal to show up for the battle? 1 Corinthians 14 verse 8. It's not a complicated problem. It's just that, humanly, we feel the need for complicated solutions. Putting the spotlight on who Jesus is, what he has done and how he can be known, is belittled by traditionalists as simplistic. Turning from that human pride to express humility about our spiritual need is how we hear the guiding voice of the one who has already met that need.